the ancient ruins of Laodicea. And uh, as you can tell uh, from this video and looking around, there's absolutely no one else here. We are the only people here. Um, people in Turkey don't understand the significance of a place like this. <laughs> uh, it's, it's out in the hills here. This ancient uh, Roman Greek city. Uh, definitely Greek architecture, but it was uh, um, just an opulent commercial center uh, that, uh, you know, flourished. Uh, major trade routes came through Laodicea. It grew in wealth to be one of the wealthiest uh, banking centers of this part of Asia Minor. And now if you look at it, it's just, it's not even a city at all. There's no city built around it. It's just ruins. It's been completely forgotten. And uh, that's really, that's really a message in itself if you think about it. It doesn't matter how rich you are. It doesn't matter how opulent you are. It doesn't have, matter how prominent you are. Um, this was a lukewarm church that had basically forgotten God, forgotten to serve Christ, and um, its name is forgotten. It's completely forgotten. Uh, the people that lived here are all forgotten. All their wealth, it's all gone. And uh, all they have left is an eternity to have to pay for the sins that they've done Take the next left if they didn't repent. Um, Laodicea is a um, it's a model of the American church. The Laodicean church. The uh, lukewarm, the lazy, the opulent, the one that said they were increased with goods and had need of nothing. Yeah, Jesus said you're poor, wretched, miserable, blind, and naked. A lot of Christians are that way. You know, they have a name and they think they live, but in reality, they're dead. Um, I mean, Pergamum was a pretty big city too, but this one, this one is big. It's sprawling, it's laid out here. And you know what, brother, there's no one else here. Shocking, there's nobody else here. We're I mean, this is a country of 80 million people and there's ancient Greek ruins there's not another soul near us right now to see this incredible sight. <laughs> yep. And now the Laodiceans are all forgotten. They're all forgotten. Only one life and soon will pass. Only what's done for Christ will last. Amen. Everything else just rots away and decays and erodes and the Laodiceans who were rich and increased with goods and had need of nothing. Now they're in their graves. And all that they had, all their wealth, all their prominence is now completely forgotten. It's completely forgotten. Nobody even thinks about it. Nobody even talks about it. That's right. <laughs> it's all gone. Only what's done for Jesus Christ will last. That's what this says to me. We're inside actually the church of Laodicea right here. This was a lukewarm church that Jesus said he was going to spew out of his mouth. And uh, if you look at it today, it looks like it has been spewed out of Christ's mouth. It's not here anymore. It doesn't exist. All the parishioners are dead. Probably a lot of them are in hell because uh, they probably didn't repent. Uh, maybe they did repent, but if they didn't repent, they perished. So this was a church that Jesus spewed out of his mouth. So don't try to teach me the false doctrine of once saved, always saved. Because here's an example of a church that Jesus literally spewed out of his mouth. And it's not in existence today. It's gone. And most of the parishioners are in hell.